Rules of Netball. Greetings, fellow athletes. Today, we're talking about netball rules. So let's start. Objective in netball. The objective of netball is to score more points than your opponent. The team is supposed to pass the ball around and shoot it into the goal ring to score goals. Scoring in netball. Scoring in netball is very straightforward. Each time the ball goes through the net, the team gets a score. Rules of netball. One, the netball court, which is just bigger than a basketball court, traditionally measures up to 30.5 meters long and 15.25 meters wide. Two, the court must be divided into three sections, with each player holding a section specific position on the court. Three, the sections are referred to as the two goal thirds and the center or middle third. Four, in netball, these set positions limit where the player can be on the court. One, goal shooter, two, goal attack, three, wing attack, four, center, five, wing defense, six, goal defense, seven, goalkeeper. Five, a netball game is equally divided into four quarters, with each quarter lasting for only 15 minutes. Six, between the second and third quarter, a halftime of five minutes is given. Seven, each team can have a maximum of seven players and a minimum of five. Eight, if a player moves into a position that they shouldn't be in, they'll be deemed to be off sides. Nine, players cannot hold the ball for more than three seconds. 10, it's not permissible for players to take more than one and a half steps when in possession of the ball. 11, the ball must go through the ringed hoop for a goal to be given. 12, unlike other sports, only the goal shooter or goal attack can score goals in netball and they must be within the semicircle when they shoot. 13. Using the different number of passes available to the player, the netball must be moved around the court through passing. 14. The ball must be worked to the goal shooter and goal attack players who attempt to shoot from inside the semicircle. 15. A netball game can be played with a court, two goals, and a ball. 16. Regulation uniforms are part of the game in official matches, but impromptu netball games can take place with a minimum amount of equipment. 17. To avoid a violation called obstruction, the job of the goal defense and goalkeeper is to block the goal attack and goal shooter from shooting being three feet or more away from the landing foot of the shooter. 18. A no goal occurs if the ball passes through the hoop that has been thrown either outside the circle or by a player other than the two shooters. 19. If there's a situation where a player completely misses a shot, the player may not catch it. In case they do it, it will be considered a replay and a free pass will be awarded to the other team. 20. A goal will also not be awarded if the ball is deflected off the goalkeeper or goal defense and goes through the goal ring. 21. Using your hands to block a player off the ball is allowed as long as it is for the purpose of catching, deflecting, or intercepting a pass, obtaining a rebound from an unsuccessful shot at goal, or signaling for a pass. 22. Obstruction will be called out by a referee if you mark a player with your arms out. This is because a player cannot move into the landing space of an opponent, position so closely to an opponent that contact is inevitable, push, trip, hold, or lean on an opponent resulting in physical contact, knock or remove the ball from the possession of an opponent while they're holding it in their hands, or push the ball into the hands of an opponent. This is it, folks. Make sure you go through each of these thoroughly before participating in that ball. Share with us your experiences in the comment section down below. If you like the video, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.